I'm cool. I feel it, man. Look, you know we got a lot to talk about. You know we got a lot to talk about from the, you feel me, the beginning, though. Um, yeah. Look, they say I done talked to my people over there in Jacksonville. They say you from the north side. They say it's like the hardest part over there in Jacksonville. That's true? Uh, yeah, north side. Brick, baby. What it was like growing up over there for you? Yeah, that shit was um, like real deal a movie. Like, like nigga ain't always have it. Like, I grew up in the hilltop village apartment. Like, that's the most trenches shit in Jacksonville. Like, in the trenches. But shit was just regular, like, everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Robin shooting, police ass shit. It was regular, like, like every other hood, but that shit was a movie. How you how you maintained it, you feel me, to get to where you at right now? Like, how you, you feel me? What was your mindset there to survive type shit, you feel me? I ain't no fucking follower. I ain't no do boy. I ain't no yes man. And I ain't, you can't put pressure on me to do shit. I was, a, I'm all, I was always a leader type shit. I feel it. I feel it. When did, uh, when you started rapping though? Like, when you, you feel me, when you decided to start rapping? I've been rapping all my life. But I started taking it serious, like, when I moved to Atlanta, like, two years ago. You moved to Atlanta two years ago? Yeah, when I had first moved to Atlanta, I had moved back to Jacksonville, though. Some shit happened, but then I'm, I am moved back, though. You So you, you, you live in Atlanta right now? Yeah. What's, what's the difference, you feel me? Is it, what's the difference between Atlanta and, and, and Jacksonville for you? Oh, uh, shit. It's more studios. It's more scenery. More networking, more rappers you can mingle with, more studio. Like, it's just a lot of more, like, networking and shit you could do down there. Instead of Jazz Berlin, like, literally nothing. Like, nothing. Yeah. Now, now, I know you just recently signed. You recently signed. What's, what's been the change with that? Like, what's been going on with that? Who, you, who, who is you signed to also to the ones who don't know? I'm signed to Craig Musical, California. Yeah. What's that? What's that been like for you? What's the change been like? Yeah, my money done got better. Yeah, my followers, you see, my shit going up, everything going up. I could do whatever I want. I got creative control. I own all my masters. I could drop when I want. Yeah, that was gonna ask you too. You still own your masters? You still in? You still in control of your situation? Yeah, I dropped just like that video with me and Koja. I just shot that video and just said, "Fuck, we gonna drop the bit more." Fuck that shit. They don't I be feel it. Fuck with them. Shout out, Chris. Hey, what's up? Look, shit, since you, you, you feel me, you brought it up, let's get into it. The video shoot at Melvin Park, man. What what what, what was going on there? What was your, what, what that was like? What you was thinking? I told you I made That shit was like, that shit was old. Like, we been made that song, like, probably like a month ago, a month and a half ago. But shit, y'all, everybody saw the video, so we were like, fuck it, let's just shoot this shit in another nigga in a nigga hood. So niggas that niggas don't be out in their hood, for real. Like, we be in our hood, for real, like. So boom, we went. So that day, how that shit started, we woke up, we like, we shoot a video today. It was originally supposed to be another song though, a harder song called ABC. It was really supposed to be that video shoot. Everybody went in there and like somebody on the song, it's like five or six of us on the song, and one of them had went to jail. So we ended up shooting the beatbox remix in Melvin Park at the nigga East Hood and the nigga Young and Ace Hood and shit. So I, I feel it. What's up? Uh... Everybody know about, you feel me, the back and forth and shit. You niggas have been on Active Image. Y'all done been all over the internet, bro. What? Because, see, I done asked the fans, too. I seen, I know you seen where I asked the fans, you feel me, what, what, you feel me, what they wanted to know about you, bro. Where, where did this whole back and forth shit even start? You feel me? Where did it come from? Where is it coming from? What, what, what happened? I don't know. Nigga, this is just some old dick riding shit, like. Right? I don't know, bro. I couldn't even tell you where all this shit come from. I just know people, we beat a nigga ass in the mall one day, and the niggas, all of a sudden, the niggas clicked up and shit. I, was like, I don't know. See, okay. Oh, I'll fuck with you, Julio. Look, okay, so boom, with that. I know, you know what I'm saying? It's all over YouTube. People done screen recorded or whatever. Um, You feel like niggas was clicking up. Why you feel like that? Why you feel like they clicked up? What are, You know what I'm saying? What makes you feel that way? Cause like if you look at Jacksonville, you got Ace, you got Papa, you got the nigga, the niggas who on here on the song with, you got Tokyo, you got all these people that don't fuck with me, but they fuck with each other on some art shit, and you just got me by myself, and you got niggas that like spot my fuck with Spot and Mookie, it's cause but you got you just got basically like every rapper from Jacksonville against one nigga, like come on, I'm that much pressure, I'm pressure like that. I you got, feel like. 
You feel like you one of the you feel like you one of the most hated in Florida for sure? Hell no, nah. I'm the most hated in my city. But not in Florida. Florida, I get more love out of my city than fucking in my city. That's why it's so crazy. That shit be fucking my head up. Right. Now I wanna I wanna speak on it, you feel me, just because people know you, you feel me, and previously, um you call you you take you you've made it very clear you take snitching shit serious you feel me you've exposed other rappers and shit like that whatever um what is your stance on snitches if i got you here what's your stance on snitching and etc uh yeah you're a grown ass man you know what you're doing like you know you thugging toting guns this and that so just don't go on that bit and fall now nah, if you know you ain't living like well it still ain't if you if you were a citizen bitch and be a fucking citizen, but if you know you can't stop this bit, this and that, ain't no snitching, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take the bitch up a chance. Nah, a lot of the fans was in, was in, well, I know they be in your DMs too, so I know this, I know this shit ain't nothing new to you. Um, people feel like you give a different treatment that you gave another Jacksonville rapper and another Jacksonville rapper. What, what's, what's your response to that? Do you feel like, like, what's, you know what I'm saying? What do you feel about that? What you say? I couldn't hear you, bro. I say, say their name. Freezing. We say, well, who? Oh, okay, boom. You said, say their name, so I'm going to say it. People feel like how you treat it, you know what I'm saying? How you address Soldier K, right? How you address no. that situation, you exposed that. People felt like that you may have, should have said something about Spottom, whether or not he did or did not snitch. So it's all allegedly. They feel like you should have said something about that. How you feel about that? But people try to realize I ain't I don't really know too much about spotting them situation and what why not. See there were people that are confused, okay, boom, you know I'm from the north side of Jacksonville, right? Yeah. Why nor and they whole clique, they from the south side, right? You know how far that is from the north and that's like that's just two different things. I don't know what happened with their situation. Them that's not my clique, uh what happened. So when I spoke on the shit, I spoke from my standpoint. They are like, I was just say, oh, you a fuck, nigga, snitch, nigga. Nah, hell nah. So the K was a nigga. This is my main man. A nigga I hung with every day, like, slept on the same couch, shirt, shirt shirts, pants. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit broke my heart. Like, you get what I'm saying? Spot on the situation, that shit different. I don't even know, man. I don't know what, what went on. They look clicking all that shit. You feel me? And then how it went, if the man so-called snitch, right? Mm -hmm. If this man snitch. They had that his homeboys, the nigga who sent that paperwork to our off. If he snitched, why they ain't been unload that shit five years ago? Why wait till y'all get in a fight, then send that shit to niggas who won't fuck with the upload? Like that that's biased. Like if you been felt that way, don't do that. That man nigga was just taking care of the nigga who sent the paperwork. You get what I'm saying? Like buying this nigga clothes, like baby and this little nigga, like that type shit. Like and this nigga know he ain't on shit. Right. But yeah. Uh, nah. With, I know you said, you know what I'm saying, you're not really too into what's going on with, you know what I'm saying, with the YNR or click. Um, what's your relationship with, with, with Mookie right now? What's your relationship with Mookie right now? I, that time I talked to Mookie, I was on the, like, the little tablet, like little FaceTime shit. That probably was like a couple months ago. I talked to him on the tablet and shit, but I ain't talked to him after the little situation. I ain't talked to him after all, all that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel it. Uh, that read, that read. Uh, can we expect the can we expect the Fulio and Mookie song when he come out? Yeah, I mean Mookie got a couple songs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Take a drive. So, so look, I wanna I wanna dig deeper into the uh the whole you know what I'm saying the whole back and forth shit right now. What was your first reaction when you heard when you heard that when you heard the diss record? The who I saw. Uh, I've been heard the shit. The whole thing. I yeah, that what shit. Was it not. It is when I first saw the shit. I was like, shit. That's what shit. I made this songs too. Shit. I know they. <laughs> I was like, shit. This is another this song. Shit. I ain't really, you know. What is your um? What's your what's what is your opinion on this and the dead? And why shit. do you why do you choose to do it? Niggas feel like shit. That's how niggas diss they brother, so they diss back shit. That's just what niggas do. It just be a tip for tax shit. But that just been what it's been in Jacksonville. We caught mm -hmm. the Chicago way first, so that's just that just been what it was. Jacksonville type shit for years. I know, ago. I know. Before in previous interviews, you said 
the new, you know what I'm saying, you was working on, you, you know, I ain't saying it like, you know what I'm saying, you had a problem or nothing like that, but you said you was going to try to avoid that shit. Is that, are you still trying to avoid this? And then this was just one of them scenarios where you felt like, you know what I'm saying, you had to say what you had to say? Bro, I, what the, God, I be chilling, bro. It be the fucking internet and it be these bitch ass niggas who know they bitches. Knowing they just went to funerals, it be these bitch ass niggas, but they just be talking, bro. Like, shut the fuck up and just rap, bro. Don't say shit. If I, you don't see me saying shit, you shouldn't say shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, just bullshit. Nah, you, you done previewed the damn, you done previewed your own who I smoked the blogs and pick it up. Niggas was doing reactions to a chiller. I ain't really never seen that shit before, but niggas yeah. was reacting to a chiller. When you plan on dropping that? Uh, I'm gonna shoot the video like on um, gang. I'm gonna shoot a crazy ass video on Cali that be like move, like real deal movie shit, like real deal movie shit. Probably in like a week or two weeks or some shit. Right now, I know previously you done went on live or whatever made story post about it about um. I don't really like saying names, bro. I really don't, but. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? A Jacksonville rapper who, who's currently locked up right now, you know what I'm saying? You've addressed that situation and claimed that Gotta keep he... Gotta 100 on this bitch. Straight up. Love it. That. Um, I know you've, you, you've already spoken on, on, on Queso and you, you believe, you know what I'm saying, that he's snitching. What makes you believe that? That shit, that shit, like, his dad has been the police, so, you know, that shit don't fall far from the tree. But free that... Well, it, when, when the shit come out, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna be like, damn. But, you know, the album don't fall too far from the tree. Nah, I noticed you was finna say free that, man. You don't wish jail on nobody. Mm -hmm. But if you snitch, that shit over with. No cap. So if he, if he, if, 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 if it come out, if it come out that queso snitches, right, what's, what you, what you, what, what, what would you say then? Shit, you know, shit, I don't give a fuck about rats. All rats gotta put I feel it. Um... Were you and him cool previously? Man, that man, my no cap. I ain't just saying this because he my op. I ain't saying it because I want to fuck. I ain't saying this because none of this, bro. This man was my son. Like, real dead, dead. Followed in my footsteps. I was dissing the dead. No cool shit. I was dissing the dead first in Jacksonville. He followed my way, dissing J5, Quan, all them niggas. He was dropping fives and H's. He motherfucking used to, this man came to my hood and took a picture. I got the picture in my, um, that shit on my Facebook or something. He in my hood, dropping hey, eight and five with me in the picture. Like, he was a, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was a fan, like, real good. You know the face, you know how you on Facebook, you got the memories and shit? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it show yeah. you what you said from years ago and shit, or what somebody said to you. He got memories saying, oh, I fuck with Fulio. Fulio got the hardest music in jazz. This years ago now, when I wasn't even taking rap serious, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Fan, like niggas been fans of Fulio and Jacksonville. What was it that? What was it that? That kind of you feel me? Switch that shit. What was it that turned it? Shit, nigga got a fat mouth. Nigga got a fat mouth. Just the dissing and shit. Is that what kind of did it over time, or, or like was it a one? Right. Want... When you know niggas been fans, that shit just be funny. Like that man deep down his heart, he know like damn, I was a real deal Fulio fan, like. I was a real deal fool, little supporter. Like, damn, no, this nigga, man. I know I'm dead ass wrong. That's what he's saying in his mind and deep down in his heart. That's what he's saying. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, shit, I don't know if you caught wind of it. Um, you've been name dropped in a few few records. I know um, people done posted screenshots of DM saying they was looking for you from Orlando and shit like that. Has anybody ever... Uh, I, I know YJB told me I previously posted some shit saying, you know what I'm saying, that he was looking for you or, you know what I'm saying, I, he felt however he felt about you. What's going on with y'all two? Um, who the fuck is YJB told me? <laughs> I'm dead. Who the fuck is that? Hey, hey, hey look, we'll move up. Huh? I don't know, bro. I don't know who the fuck you tell him. Don't look for me, bro. I ain't nobody special to look for, bro. Why he looking for me? Damn. That would hey that that what we trying to figure out. But um another thing, yes. um, you 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 ain't you I know you done pulled up to shows you done pulled up to different cities you not really you one of them rappers who 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 all out there with it right who all you know what I'm saying it is what it is 
why is you like that? You ain't worried about, you know what I'm saying? You ain't worried about nothing. Or what, like, what's going on? Why, why, is your, why is your thought process so, fuck it? Because, man, these niggas, you, see, all the type of niggas, like, this is what these niggas do. They make a thousand and one sneak dish and send a little tip for tax. You sit, you a bit. See, they say, like, little undercover shit. I straight say that nigga name, like, fuck, I ain't gonna sneak this. I'm gonna say your name. Let the shit be known. This is what it is. Like, that type of shit. And I guess I'm too vulgar. I'm too, like, you know what I'm saying? I guess I'm too, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I guess I don't, I, I, I don't sneak this. Bro. I put a name on that shit, bro. With everything, like, real right. shit. I don't sneak this. I know, um, do you, I know you previously spoke on it. Do you feel like the fans, keep this beef going and the fans keep you feel what I'm saying the fans make it worse than what it is definitely you got fans who real deal think they in the beef <laughs> on game you got to real deal think they in the beef saying fuck everybody dead homeboys they'll do this and that bro y'all want to be in this shit so bad just move y'all out of Jacksonville Florida just rock out bro instead of doing it from the internet shit um what's the what's your what's uh, your opinion What's what's going on with you and um? Cause I know blogs have posted it back and forth. What's going on with you and and, and the, the little four K trade camp and, and P Young and and what's that? What's that whole drama and beef about? Man, that shit started from Jacksonville, bro. I really, we literally, the young boy had a show in Jacksonville, bro. When we pulled up on this man, we ain't pull up on him intending to beef with him. We ain't pull up on the turn to record none of that. The fucking fans kept sending me shit in my DM with him saying something at his song called Fulio, this and that. What you on, Fulio, this in the song, though. So I'm like, damn, that is my name. Then how to, how, how, I ain't gonna say the rest of it, but that is my name. So boom. When we pull up to the hotel, we trying to pull up and ask him, like, what that Fulio shit mean? We ain't pull up on no, you gotta check in this city shit. But how he, when we pulled up, how he was acting like, you feel me? He was like, timid you get what i'm saying i'm like damn really acting like that and that's the wild that other extra shit came i feel it um so look i i don't, I don't want to sit here and keep you know what i'm saying pushing on the drama shit so musically musically you got a tape on the way man or what yeah i got my deluxe from the drop and i got my other mixtape from the drop when it when can we expect the song with you and lil key to drop uh shit we finna shoot that video probably any day now Tomorrow, like we can shoot that be any day, man. Man, bro, locked in. Man, shout out Key, shout out YSL, shout out, you know what I'm saying? We live to drop that be any day, no cap. And I'm gonna have what? that on my day. Who, who you got, I was gonna say, you got any more, you got any more features, anything coming up on it or what? Um, I ain't gonna say, but I got some big features though, no cap. How many you got? Probably like a good. I'll say like five. I'm a, no, I'm say six. Cause one on the way. I'm gonna say like five or six. Yeah. You the the, the fans in the comments saying that you and Pooh Shiesty got something. Y'all got something on the way? Yeah. Pooh Shiesty, shout out side. Um, Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. What well, yeah. do you plan on? You plan on dropping any any more singles before the deluxe or or what? Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dropping the videos here and there. Y'all gonna get that who I smoke. Gonna be a lot of this shit. Y'all gonna hear that. Y'all gonna see. I feel it. I feel it up. So tell me something. Yeah, yeah. You think you think Fulio is you top five in Florida right now? Yeah, uh, yeah. Why you feel that way? Cause my dear, I ain't even all shout out Cray. I ain't always something. You know, I got creative control. I own all my mouth. So I'm getting all my money coming straight to me. I ain't got to bust down. Get no percentages. I ain't. You feel me? I've been doing this shit independently with no manager. None of that. You get what I'm saying? Shout out T Dito. But you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. The numbers don't lie. None of no lie. Oh, this shit out there. I feel it. Hey, I got, I got, I got one more question for you. Hey, you still cool with Aiden Ross, bro? Who? Aiden Ross. They keep adding, bro, in the damn comments. Aiden Ross, the little streamer oh. dude. Everything cool, right? I never no problems with, bro. I talked to him yeah. on Twitter. I talked to him on Instagram. It was never no problem with him, bro. He just, he just the fans put him in the fans, bro. The fucking fans, bro. I ain't yeah, know. I see it right now in the comments. I ain't know, like, you feel me? Ain't no problem with bro. I don't want to keep doing this shit. What are you doing? 
That real, that's real. So look, one, no, for real, this my, I'm, I got one more for you for real. Five years, where you see yourself? Musically, musically, musically. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm already lit. So I'm gonna be like somewhere. I'm gonna be far gone. Probably, I'm gonna have my own label turned by then. Uh, I'm trying to be literally out the country, bro. No cap. I want to get my own house in fucking Africa and just borrow back from the whole base of the earth type shit. Why, why Africa? Why you want to move to Africa? I just love Africa, bro. That's our home. Bro. I be watching watching documentaries out there on YouTube on Africa. I love Africa, bro. So I'm just moving. I'm far back there. I feel it. I feel it. Well, look, you got everybody in the DMs and the comments ready for you to drop some music. So can can we get a date on your next song or your next video or something, bro? I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the Who I Smoke shit in the. I'm gonna say in a week and a half, two weeks. So y'all hit this on live first. I'm going to drop that shit in a week and a half, two weeks. Video shooting Cali. Next week that's coming up, we're going to Cali to shoot. So I'm talking about movie shit, like real deal movie shit. Like I'll tell y'all how the video going to be playing too. It's going to be like a college, some college, high school musical type thing to the video. Like that shit going to be hard though. No cap. When, uh, when you when you drop in, you and spot them song? Oh, that video shoot this weekend. No cap. Me and the spot them video shoot this weekend in Miami. Okay, okay. Is you uh I, they keep asking is I just seen the question is fully or African or Haitian? Is you Haitian or African? Um it's only African and Haitian. I'm fifty fifty. I'm fifty fifty. Okay, okay. Say that now we'll leave it at that. But now nah, my boy, I uh I appreciate you tapping in. You know I'm fucking with you. You know you know what it is with me. So I appreciate you tapping in again. I appreciate you speaking on everything and you know what I'm saying, the fans what they needed to hear, hopefully. Yeah, man, fuck, man, listen, man, shout out to all my supporters, all my fans, man, y'all keep rocking with me, man, I've been with me since then, man, I'm telling you, but, but now nah, I appreciate you tapping in, my boy, you know, you know what's